Okay, it's quite a big long question, this question four. Uh, to start off, find the value of 4x squared minus 3 when x equals 5. So I've got to do 4x squared, so that means 4 lots of x squared, and x is 5, so it's 4 lots of 5 squared minus 3. 5 squared is 25, so 4 lots of 25, and then take away 3. 4 25 is 100, take away 3 is 97. X is minus 10. So this will be careful here. We know it's going to be a bit harder. So it's going to be 4 lots of, and it's then x is minus 10, so that'll be minus 10 squared. But it needs to be minus 10 times by minus 10, so minus 10 squared. If you're not sure, write it down. Minus 10 times minus 10, that equals. A negative times a negative is a positive. 10 tenths, 100. So that's 100. And then obviously we've got 4x squared, so it's 4 lots of negative 10 squared, and then take away 3. So this is 4 times 100, take away 3, that's 400, take away 3, is 397. Multiply out the brackets, well this means I've got 10 lots of these brackets, so I've got to have 10 lots of 2x's, which will be 20x's, and then I've got to have 10 lots of 5, and that'll be plus 50. I've got to factorise this, and that means I've got to see what numbers or letters go into both. And I can see immediately that 5 goes into both, so I can take out a 5, and there's no other letters there, so it won't be anything else. So what do I have to times the 5 by to get 5a? Well, that will obviously be a. And what do I have to times the 5 by to get plus 20? That's obviously plus 4. And that's what factorise means. And this one here, I've got x's on both sides. I always like seeing which side's got most x's on the left hand here. So I'm going to get rid of the three x's from the right hand side and get rid of three x's from the left hand side. That will leave me with two x's, take away seven. And that'll be equal to three x's, take away three x's. We know x's, that will just vaporize that and just leave us with 16. Now I want to get rid of the minus 7, so obviously I'll do the inverse operation, which is to plus 7 for that side, and I have to plus 7 to the other side. Now I'm just leaving me with two x's, and the 7 will just go, because minus 7 plus 7 is 0, and then 16 plus 7 is 23, and I don't want to have two x's, I only want to have one x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and then that's going to give me that x equals 23 divided by 2, is 11.5. Let's make it dead clear that is 23. And finally on the last bit, I've got to rearrange this to make x the subject, and that means it's got to be x equals. So I always like getting the, the x on the left hand side to start with, so I'm just going to switch it around. So I'm going to write down 5x squared minus 3 equals y. That just swaps it around. And now it's just like solving an equation. I want to get rid of the minus 3 first, so I'm going to add 3 to both sides. And that will give me that 5x squared equals y plus 3. Next thing I want to get rid of, well, if I knew what x was, I'd square it first and then multiply by 5. So I need to get rid of the multiply by 5 first. So I need to divide both sides by 5. This is quite nice now because I've got x squared equals, I can just write down y plus 3 all over 5. And now I need to get rid of this squared sign, so I need to do the inverse of that, so square root both sides, and that will give me as my final answer x equals the square root of y plus 3 all over 5. And you've got to make it very clear that the square root is square rooting the bottom as well as the top. And that's 10 marks for question 4, and that's done.